Hello friends and welcome to the cottage. So as you can see in the camera I have two of my beautiful baby girls with me today and we are going to do a real and honest review of a full body silicone baby girl versus a full vinyl, well, full limb vinyl baby girl. And these two particular dolls are just so perfect for this comparison because they have so many similarities. I mean, obviously they have a lot of differences as well, but they do have an awful lot of similarities. And, um, yeah, I just, I've always wanted to do this. Obviously, um, I'm just a brand new full body silicone mummy, so um, that was not possible in the past. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be very, very honest with you guys um, as far as, you know, the goods, the bads, and yeah, and everything in between. Um, because you know what, there are, there, there are good things and there are bad things um, about both of these uh, type of art dolls. And, um, you know, it's not my intention to, um, you know, hurt anybody's feelings. Everybody has differing opinions. And, um, you know, I've always tried to make that really clear to you guys on my channel that, um, that I'm just really honest. I'm just, you know... <laughs> sometimes to my detriment but um you know I'm just really really honest with you guys and um and it's not to meant to to you know to hurt anybody's feelings um it's just my opinion and you know I'm just one person that's just my opinion um anyway let's get into this comparison so um, okay, I think we're going to start here. Now, this is the really interesting thing. Both of these baby girls are um, very similar in a lot of ways. So, um, this is Elizabeth, and this is Joy. And uh, Joy is the Hannah Sculpt by Bonnie Sieben. And she was uh, painted, she was painted, she was, well, obviously she was cast and molded by Bonnie Sieben. Um, whereas Maisie over here was molded by Andre, she's the Maisie sculpt, and she was um, sculpted by Andrea Arcello. So, um some other things that are um, sort of similarities. Um, joy, this is uh, this is my Joy. She's a Maisie sculpt, but I call her Joy um, for obvious reasons. She is roughly about twenty two inches long, whereas um, little Elizabeth here, she is twenty one inches long. They both have beautiful um, glass eyes in a somewhere between a cornflower and a um, slightly darker blue. Like Elizabeth's are definitely like a cornflower blue, whereas um, Joy's are just a tad darker, but they're equally as beautiful. They both have hand applied lashes in a very soft baby brown, very realistic looking. They both have open mouths. Um, they are both, you know, have a joyful expression on their faces. Um, they both have a very prominent tongue. Um, they both have very little uh, upper lip and a fuller bottom lip. They both have very, very soft baby brown Barely their eyebrows. Um, they both have beautiful mono-rooted uh, mohair. Um, Joy's is a, a tad lighter, uh, but it's it's um, mono-rooted. Elizabeth's is slightly darker, 
but it's also mono rooted. It feels very similar, so I'm 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 wondering if it's a similar type of hair. Um, they both have sort of interesting, um, you know, hand gestures. You know, like Joy's little finger here is um, is curled in. And then with this hand, she's also curling her fingers in, whereas um, Elizabeth has almost fully curled hands. They have very similar size feet. Um, I'm going to just move you guys down. Whereas Joy is pretty chunky. <laughs> She's got some chunky thighs. One of the things I absolutely love about her. Um, and she's got some chunky thighs. Whereas my little Elizabeth, she's a little more petite. That's a big uh, difference, obviously. Um, Elizabeth, or uh, Joy is, you know, a little bit of a more hefty girl. Well, other than they both, they both do have a nice uh, full belly, <laughs> which of course I love. Um... Sorry, I'm just going to grab a sip of my drink. So there are a lot of similarities between these two girls. Um, I love them both beyond belief. <laughs> uh, they are never leaving my nursery. Um, okay, so let's... Oh, oh, another thing I should mention. They both have what I call... Um, an English rose complexion. Um, I know some of you call it peaches and cream. Um, I call it an English rose complexion. Um, and the reason I call it that is because my, um, you guys know that I'm of Spanish descent. So, you know, I'm dark, you know, dark skinned, dark hair, dark eyes. Um, whereas my husband is of German descent and he is very fair very green eyes and back before he started you know going gray he had uh, you know a, a real pale auburn um, hair so I mean we're literally polar opposites in in our coloring and in our personalities actually which is a really good thing <laughs> because he's the level-headed one and I'm the impulsive one so yeah he keeps me grounded um, and I <laughs> <laughs> keep him having fun so anyway um our middle daughter uh she is got very very similar coloring to her dad she when she was born um our you know she was our second child and when our son was born he was so spanish looking you guys oh my goodness sakes he had the most olive skin he had was born with black black eyes um and uh you know dark eyebrows and i mean he was so spanish looking and um and then when our our second child was born 2 years later uh she was her dad's coloring she was so so english rose like pale pale skin and rosy red cheeks and one teeny tiny little curl on the top of her head in in like a blonde and I was like are you I mean if I hadn't have given birth to her and then was pushed down to the recovery room with her on my chest I would not have believed she was mine I mean sometimes to this day I look at her and think how did I mean she's so beautiful I mean we all think our our, our kids are beautiful but she is she is a very beautiful girl um, but then ironically uh, four years later I gave birth to another uh, baby girl who is as Spanish as can be <laughs> dark dark olive skin dark eyes you know dark dark brown hair exactly my coloring but anyway, it's, it's, it's just amazing when you have two parents of, you know, very different um, nationalities and coloring, how different that your kids can be. So, which is, you know, it, which is fun. It's, it's fun. You know, it's just absolutely fun. So uh, both of these girls are English roses. They have the very fair skin um, and the, with the pink rosy cheeks. 
and they actually, you know what, um, Joy was a reborn by a prototype artist in Portugal, and her work is, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, you can just, you know, tell by looking at her how beautiful, how beautiful and how realistically she's painted. I mean, she was a dream baby for me, and, uh, if you've not seen her box opening, you can go back and see her box opening. And I, I don't think I cried that time. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, um, so yeah, their, their painting style is very, very similar. I mean, you can see in the camera, and I'm sorry, the light isn't as great as I would like it to be. It's another overcast day today. I'm here in my part of Canada. We got up this morning, the sun was out, ran outside, did as much, you know, weeding in the garden and, and you know, getting the, the beds uh, prepped for, um, for planting. And then, you know, it started to pour and it's just absolutely pouring right now. So I digress. So I've got the ring light on and I'm hoping that's helping a little bit, but okay. So we've kind of talked about the similarities between these two. Oh, and they both wear zero to three months. Um, so we've talked about the similarities. Uh, let's talk about the differences. Um, well, <laughs> the obvious difference is that Elizabeth is a full body silicone and Joy is a full limbed vinyl. So, you know, a completely different medium equally as beautiful, but, uh, but a completely different medium. Um, we'll start with price. Now, Joy is one of my uh, more expensive Reborns because uh, the Maisie Sculpt was sold out a long time ago. And, um, and it's a very in-demand kit. And, um, and she was reborn by a prototype artist. So, you know, she was, you know, in the thousand, um, dollar range, well, a little bit more than that, but you know, in the thousand dollar range. Um, and you know what, I, I have noticed on a lot of, um, content creators videos, they, they'll talk about their babies in terms of like, you know, like, oh, um, you know, this doll was very, very expensive. The only person I know that actually will talk about actual numbers is my, my um, friend Marisol. She will actually, and I think actually my friend uh, Spring Flower, she'll kind of, you know, say a price here and there. I, I guess some people think that's in bad taste. I just feel that that's just being honest. Like, I, I want to know. Like, you know, when people are showing a new Claire Taylor doll, I'm dying for them to tell me what they paid for it. Not because I want to be like, oh my gosh, you're crazy. I'm just so curious. But then, you know, I was, <laughs> I was a constable, uh, an investigator in my, in my career. And, um, I'm a very curious person. So, but I don't have a problem with, um, you know, being honest about things like that. So, like I said, she was, you know, around about a thousand or so. This baby was in the thousands, obviously. She's a full body silicone. She's a li very, very limited edition, only 10 in the world. Um, she was painted by a very high-end artist and she's, you know, a very high-end sculpt, a very limited edition high-end sculpt. And um, so, yeah, we're talking thousands for her. Um, so price is a big, there's a big, big difference in price, obviously. And now, posability. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Uh, Joy is on a full body jointed body. And this girl, I take a lot of pictures of her. A lot of pictures of her. Um, I'm sure my ladies in my Facebook group uh, probably get tired of how many pictures I take of her because she's so photogenic because her painting is beautiful her sculpt is beautiful and like I said she's on a jointed a full body jointed doe suede 
body white obviously and oh my gosh you guys she's so fun to pose she can do so many fun things you know she can be curled up she can be um you know reaching for toys i mean she is really really fun to pose and photograph really fun um now my beautiful little elizabeth over here she does not have armatures i didn't want armatures um that was one of the things that i and and the reason being is i do know of a few content creators that have very high-end dolls whose armatures have kind of bit the big one and for better for 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 lack of better words or they just have you know broken inside the baby um and i also notice a lot of uh content creators don't use their armatures very much just because they are very paranoid that that they will wear out i don't know what kind of armatures they put in silicone babies but i do know what kind of armatures they put in reborns and i can definitely see those wearing out over time so i just didn't want to have that uh, extra worry about armatures and um so she does not have armatures um so you know as far as uh you know if i wanted to like put her well i could probably put her finger in her mouth like that but you know it's not going to stay it's not going to stay there um so yeah you know and then she's got these little chubby legs oh my gosh <laughs> hi baby Oh my gosh, this is hard. This is a hard video to make, you guys, because I love these two so much. I could just get so goofy and, you know, just start talking baby talk um, to the two of them. But, you know, you guys, you guys are all my friends, so you get it. Anyway, um, the posability with Elizabeth is not, you know, like I can take her, I can take her and, you know, I can put her like up like that just show you I can put her up like that. there's Layla <laughs> you know I can put her up against a cushion and you know in that kind of thing and oh my gosh she looks so sweet but here watch Joy I can bring Joy over here and uh, <laughs> look at this are you guys seeing this here I'll just lift you up a bit I can bring Joy over here and like look at this like yay <laughs> and you know crisscross applesauce her little legs and you know look at her like when you can pose babies a lot you can you know you can s speak in with their body language so much like look at that doesn't she look just like yay like that's so cute so that's like a really big thing and if you're in a um if you are in a facebook group ladies facebook group like mine that's sort of based on photographs um it's pretty fun uh to have babies that are really posable so so that's you know that's i would say that's sort of a negative um for this type of silicone now i understand uh, the claire taylor babies and a lot of other high-end uh, reborns or sorry uh, silicones have armatures so you can do quite a bit more with them but then like I said I've, I've heard that 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 can be a worry with armatures you know you don't want to overuse them but you know what if you have a silicone with armatures please comment down below I'd love to hear sort of where you're at with that but okay now so that's for for a reborn that's a plus um the, you know posability so much posability um here's another really big plus for reborns um she has this gorgeous head of hair gorgeous gorgeous mono rooted head of hair and guess what when she was rooted the artist stuck that each single hair into her head popped off her head or you know she didn't have a head probably on the body um and then glued on, on the inside of her her head glued all that down so when i get a brush out and you know i want to put some noodle and boo on there and i want to make some curls or um 
I mean, obviously I use a baby brush and I'm super duper gentle, but am I worried about hair loss? Not at all. Not at all. Like, I use Noodle and Boo. I use a baby brush. I'm very gentle, obviously. She's so precious to me. But pfft. now with um, Elizabeth, you know, she gets a little bed head. I'm using like a little tiny um, toothbrush. And <laughs> very gently. <laughs> and as far as doing like hairstyles on her, it's not going to happen. Um you know, like like doing curls or putting headbands in her or clip, hair clips or whatever, it's not gonna happen. Because in her case, her uh, wonderful artist stuck each single little hair into this silicone head and she stuck it down way, way deep. But that's it, you know, it's... Uh, and she did an amazing job, an absolutely amazing job of rooting this baby girl. But that's it. There's what's holding in that hair is just the pressure of the silicone against the hair shaft. That's it. So, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but in my mind, that is a recipe for hair loss. If you're going to be, you know, brushing and styling and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, you lose out that um, opportunity with a full body silicone. Um, the other thing is, um, this little hand, and strangely, they have very similar sized hands, even though Joy is like a chunky monkey, their hands are very similar in size. Um, but Joy does have, uh, the Macy Sculpt has very tiny hands and very tiny feet. Actually, I think her hands are smaller. Do you see that? I think her hands are actually smaller. They're so similar. They're so similar in their, um, you know, the painting style. It's just amazing. Like they're, um, I guess I would say that Joy's a little peachier maybe. Um, like her coloring, she's like maybe a little peachier. I like the uh, artist use a little bit more warm tones, whereas um, Elizabeth artist used a little more maybe blue tones. So definitely a, a difference in color, but you know, similar enough. Okay. Um, so, the, you know... <laughs> Like, like I was showing you, you know, you can, you are doing all kinds of cute poses and stuff. Now, with silicones, where I hear the problems can happen is armpits. And you can almost see, like when I lift her arm, I can see how the silicone kind of, um, I'm going to just move you up a bit. When I lift her arm, I can see where the silicone like strains a little bit. Um, and I understand that is a place where uh, silicone babies can often rip. Um, another place is in the crook of the arm. And you know, when I move her arm out, uh, you know, like straighten her arm, I can see the strain of the silicone right there. I mean, look at this girl, like, woo, woo, you can move that arm all over the place. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you're not worrying about anything ripping or, yeah, you know. Um, so those are some things to consider. But, okay, here's the big one. Here's the big one. Um... Elizabeth is sitting here in a diaper. She's in a diaper. You were looking at her little belly button and her little baby boobies. And, um, and she has, you know, girl parts. She has the cutest booty imaginable. She can just lay around in a diaper. And I can photograph her just in a diaper and 
Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she's, she's, you know, she's like, she's like having a real baby. Like, honestly, she is like having a real baby. When I pick her up out of her bassinet, um, and just in a diaper like this, and, you know, her head is all wobbly and her arms and legs are all wobbly. And then her weight, of course, she's a, she's a very, what I would expect from like a three month old baby. She's, I get, I get such unbelievable maternal feelings from lifting this baby up. Um, she actually looks like some of my foster babies that I had in the past. She feels like some of my foster babies I've had in the past. Um, I get like really, really crazy, crazy maternal feelings from her. Like her, just the weight of her, just the way her limbs move. Um, yeah. It's, it's so unbelievable to me sometimes, you guys, that I just think, okay, that's it. I'm selling every single reborn I have, and I'm going to buy, you know, another silicone. I pretty much have to sell all my dolls in my collection um, to buy another one. But, uh, yeah, it's just she the realism, the, the feelings that it invokes in me, um is like holding a real baby. Yeah, I, I, that's the only way I can describe it. And I mean, I love, love, love um, this girl. Oh my gosh, I love her. And she's beautifully weighted, beautifully weighted and beautiful quality body. Um, but, and she's good too, you know, to lift her up. She she, um, I mean, she doesn't need the head support because she's a three month old and, um, and she can hold her head on her own and, you know, she's weighted in a way. I mean, she, she feels, I mean, look at that face, <laughs> look at that face, you know, and her arms are kind of floppy and, um, but it's not the same, I, I, you know, and I'm being a hundred percent honest with you guys. And please, please, nobody take offense um, because, you know, I realize that uh, a full body silicone or, or partial silicone is not in everybody's budgets. But um, but you know what, if, if I was not ever able to have, um, you know, my silicone babies, uh, I would just be loving on my Reborns and my Ashton Drakes and my Paradise Galleries and now my Amazon baby. Um, and just enjoying them just as much, um, and not knowing the difference, but, um, yeah, you know, I just thought that it, you guys just for educational purposes, you might be interested in just the, the differences. I mean, there's some wonderful, uh, positives to, you know, reborns, some wonderful positives. Um, there's some wonderful positives to, uh, a full body silicone but then there's negatives and there's negatives so um i'm extremely blessed to have both of these beautiful girls in my collection and i do not take that for granted you know i thank the lord every day that it's i've been able to have these two beautiful babies in my collection as well as my other dolls um but you know i thought you guys might be interested in just um just because I have two uh, babies and you know in diff with different um, with different types of materials, I just thought you guys might be really curious about the differences. Anyway, so I am going to go get these girls dressed and then I am going to have some cuddle time with the two of them. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and as always, take care.